Now, how is Wild Water Adventures here at Michigan Adventure? Well, today we're gonna find out. I hope you're excited. I hope you're ready. Let's go. As you come in initially here, um, I'm assuming this is where they will take your park ticket, but it may just be general access for anyone coming in. Yeah, it looks like maybe it is. Okay, I wasn't quite expecting that. All right, let's check out what this water park is actually like and what kinds of things they actually have inside of it. And lots of people here already. This is a pretty popular looking kind of a place. Looks like we have a kids area, half pipe paradise right over here. That looks pretty cool. We got a couple of different slides here. Oh, and we have a beer garden right underneath the slide. That's cool. Once again, it looks like a little bit more of the half pint area also. Now it looks like we have some dark slides on the other side over there. This looks fun. If I only had something, uh, more than one person in my group, I'm assuming this is for more than one person. But it definitely looks like fun over here. Mammoth River, Mammoth River. Looks like that's what it's called. That's definitely looking fun. Again, though, probably more than one rider is needed on this ride. Ma minimum of two riders, yep. Maximum of three riders per raft, really. I assumed it would be four. Now, they have their wave pool set up in a very similar way as Cedar Point, although not from a couple of years ago. It's kind of changed since a couple of years ago. Um, but you can get in through one specific area on the, over there um, rather than through any part of the wave pool like it used to be. And I think because it's hot, our very first place is going to be to grab something off of the uh grab a little spot on the chairs and uh put my stuff down now right here is the spot for both the lazy river and for the wave pool right here um so we can get to both coming through here which looks pretty nice to me it's a hot day although this pathway is less hot than the one at cedar point like it's really not very hot at all which is definitely a good thing definitely ready for something to cool me off a little bit oh they actually have enter and entrance sides all right Ooh, this water is oh <laughs> oh no <laughs> that is a nice looking place Like I've said multiple times, it seems like that's something they're trying for. Like this is a pretty park overall that I've seen. And the water is very clear, which I like also. Once you get in, it's not half bad, <laughs> kind of like normal. That's usually what I find with uh, wave pools or with any pool, usually. It's like a shock to your system initially, and then you get in and it's like, okay, not so terrible. One thing I'm noticing is there is no thing that like counts down for you. Hop on into the water. Let's just keep on going. <laughs> it is cold on your stomach. Okay, I just saw the lifeguard stand up, so I'm assuming that means we're getting a little bit closer to it actually starting. Um, but we'll see what it's like. Oh yeah, it's starting right now. There come the waves right now. Let's see how big these are. Ooh, they're they're big along the side. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh, I'm like right in the middle. So if you want a big one, you gotta go to the sides here. <laughs> I always love a water park. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna lose my phone though. <laughs> I didn't protect it this time. Oh! 
that's fun. Oh, it's really short. It only goes for just a minute. It's already done, unless they had some reason to turn it off. There's an undertow here. On the way, on the way back, there's a legit undertow. It's kind of hard to move. All right, now I think the next place that we're going to go is over to the Lazy River, which is right over here. I don't think I've seen everything yet. I think there may be more down here also. Lazy River goes right behind these bushes. And we are going to hit that. We're just going to come over here, kind of see what exists over here. Looks like it might just be one slide, unless it opens up on the other side also, which we'll follow the trail and see. But there's also a bridge over there, so I don't know where that might take us or if it takes us to the same place. Very excited. I am not a big water slide fan. Every time I go down them, I just feel out of control. It scares me half to death. Like these, especially. All right, so there's the bridge that I haven't seen yet or haven't walked over yet. Um, so does it just lead out here or is there more is the question. It does look like there's maybe some picnic grounds out here. Probably for rent. Yeah, it looks like it's closed off. Like there's a gate right here. Now here it looks like if you are 48 inches or taller, you are tall enough to go without a life vest stop. At Cedar Point, it's 54 inches. And I think it's at Kings Island too, although I'm not entirely certain. Let's see what the Lazy River says on that front. Yeah, less than 48 inches. So I know at Cedar Point, it's 54 inches for that because my daughter was devastated this year when I took her there. Yeah, it looks like they have some things inside it. That looks fun. Grab one of these. Yeah, the water feels real nice now. Looks like you might be able to avoid the uh, the obstacles though. That's cool. And one of the water slides goes right into the Lady River. I love that. This thing actually really moves just by itself. <laughs> slides these are the single slides i don't think i'll probably end up going down these because even if i did i wouldn't want to take my camera so you're not going to see it one way or another that was a nice long lazy river um this is a pretty simple type of a place there's not a ton to it um but definitely fun and a nice place to be able to cool off if you're local i would be here all the time <laughs> every weekend i'd be here um but yeah definitely fun i'm not sure if it specifically is worth the trip out here but like i said if you're local then definitely i do like it that from right here on this bridge i can pretty much see the entire water park that's definitely a cool nice thing to be able to do but hey though one way or another this is a great place to come hang out get a little bit of a tan as much of a tan as you can get anyway i can't get much <laughs> and uh just kind of hang out for just a little while. It wouldn't take too long to get most of these slides done. 
and uh, most of the lines I've seen have not been ridiculous. About the biggest line that I'm seeing is this one over there, which is the tornado slide, essentially. I don't remember what they actually call it, though. But that one seems to have the longest line. Uh, potentially this one also, but that seems to be a pretty high capacity ride. There are tons of nice places to just kind of set your stuff down, hang out. You have lots of little places to lay, and then you also have a couple of different chairs. But yeah, I mean, that kind of everywhere you also have some cabanas that you can use so right on the other side of this there are some cabanas check out these cabanas right here for rent here right along the lazy river and the the wave pool both and then just tons of space here Where you can relax, take a load off, um, lay down a little bit, and do whatever you need to do here at the park. So it's definitely nice. I mean, especially considering how connected this is to this park, I think that's pretty cool. It's a pretty nice thing to be able to do that um, here. Lots of space to sit, and you don't just have to choose these there are many other places to sit and lay down um, across the park. Inside ha Half Pipe Paradise, they have some small slides with a few little splash paddy type things. You have this right here that kind of gets blown around by the wind. That looks fun. Some other things that you can kind of run through, get yourself wet. And then we have an older kids splash pad slash slide area. Um, of course, these vertical splash pads I always love. This is for Half Pint Paradise. I don't know. Otherwise, uh, these black ones over there are called the Snake Pit. I'm not quite sure what this one's called. But it's a cool place with multiple levels to hang out in and play and run around and do all that kind of stuff. Once again, we also have a lot more space here too to be able to take a load off, lay down, kind of get a little bit out of the way just a bit. And the snake pit even has kind of a little bit of a place to soak your toes. You also have a kid's wave pool back here. Wow, this is really cool. I'm glad I came back here. Because it's so shallow, you're going to have wicked waves all the way through this, which is really fun. It's like it's breaking the entire time. I'm certain my daughter would love to come to this, so we might need to make a little trip yet this summer. The wave pool just ended, and yet, look at how big these waves crashing up on the zero-entry shore are. They're pretty decent, and they're definitely rolling the entire time. So it looks like this is called the Beach Party, and it has multiple slides. You know, kind of like any of these are usually like this. Lots of slides, lots of places where you can get absolutely and totally and completely drenched. Um, from every direction <laughs> imaginable. Although for my daughter, often she is like just overwhelmed by it. She's like, there's just too much water because it shoots up your nose, it shoots into your mouth, it shoots onto your head, it shoots onto your legs. <laughs> so no matter where you are, you always just have a lot of water coming at you. But I love this too, this little zero entry tiny pool here. Whoa, it's actually, deeper than I thought it was going to be. At parts, this is pretty deep overall. Um, so be aware. <laughs> but yeah, a nice little place to come and play. And uh, very shallow. You don't need to worry about having a, having a life vest on or anything like that here inside of this pool. Oh my word, and it just keeps on going. Usually I don't come into kids' areas uh, without my daughter. And technically, I don't think this is all a kid's area, but I, <laughs> this time I was like, oh, you know what, let's just try it. Let's see. And there's a ton of stuff here, like uh, even kind of a pool back here where you can go sit down. There's another wave pool here also to like kind of more of a kid's, kid's wave pool uh, to be able to hang out in. Although maybe it's not a kid's wave pool. This one looks a little bit deeper. But so that makes overall three wave pools here at Michigan's Adventure. So yeah, had I not come back here, 
I wouldn't have seen any of this stuff. There's also more cabanas here too. Uh, we still gotta find some bathrooms because I, I didn't need one. I, I came in in my uh, bathing suit. So I don't really know where you can change or if there are places to change here. But there are also cabanas um, at the side here. Yeah, and then this wave pool is substantially deeper. Tons of space here. There are some restrooms here. Um, I'm not sure if you can get changed inside of them or not. Maybe we'll have to go check that out. Just the bathroom. No places to change at all inside of there. We do have a nice large area to um, eat in. Jack Snack Shack and the Beach Bites. Along with, like I said earlier, the beer garden right over here. Now, I get the feeling that a lot of people just come here in their bathing suits already. Um, probably because it is such a more water park large kind of a place. Um, but there are also some restrooms over here. And I did notice some cabanas uh, or tiny change rooms where you could also get changed. Um, you also have the cabana check-in right over here. So if you're actually getting a cabana, you can go come over here and uh, get stuff from here. It doesn't really seem like they have a lot in the way of merchandise. Uh, there is a little bit of merchandise over there. It does look like they have things like sunblock and bags and um, maybe bags for your phone, stuff like that, uh, right back here in this little shop. Um, but they really don't have a lot of like branded merchandise, plushies, anything like that that you could buy. Uh, stuff that you that you do see more at Kings Island and at Cedar Point. But I have a feeling that's because this is so well connected to the park that they're just like, if you want it, you can walk outside and go get it <laughs> there. Because <laughs> I don't even think there's a difference in charge. Nobody asked me for a card or anything like that to get in here. So uh, once you come into Michigan's Adventure, I think you already have access to the water park. That's just a part and parcel of your day. It does look like they have a few areas where you can get changed right over here, uh, but there's not very many of them, just a couple of them. And uh, it looks like often there's kind of a line for them too. So that's kind of um, something that I think you need to be prepared for. Don't come here expecting to get changed here inside the park. You know, get changed in your car on the way or get changed at your house before you come here. Kind of seems like they're not really expecting a lot of all day guests to this part of the park. And that makes sense considering that you can just walk straight out and go to the rest of the park here, ride the coasters and things like that. It also makes sense why you see more people just walking around in their bathing suits at this park than you do uh, at some of the other Cedar Fair parks. As the last part to our day, they also have some lockers back there where you can also store your stuff throughout the day. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here at Wild Water Adventure. Um, it's been quick, it's been sweet, it's also been fun. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know what you guys think of this place and have you ever been here before? Thank you guys so much for watching and let's go. They also have some little places here to take showers and it looks like they even have like some soap. Those are almost like what Cedar Point has out on the beach uh, for kids or anyone to be able to wash off the sand from their feet. Ah, I was both a little bit wrong and a little bit right because there is Wild Water Outfitters right here. You can get all kinds of things from t-shirts to all sorts of stuff. Of course it is outside the park though so anyone has access to this merch um, opportunity. So yeah, they have hats, they have bathing suits. So if you forgot your bathing suit, you have something. Um, they have water shoes. All kinds of handy things that might actually help you out here at the water park if you need it. Hey, thanks for watching. I release theme park related videos at least a couple times a week. So press that subscribe button if you made it this far. Also check out similar videos in the playlist to the right or find my newest video to the left. Thanks again and let's go.